Now to the latest on the federal raid at music mogul Sean Diddy Combs properties, including an estate right here in L.A. The searches appear to be part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay is live in this exclusive Homeby Hills neighborhood where agents executed a search warrant. Sophie. Colleen, we are standing outside of Diddy's home, and yesterday it was filled with Homeland Security agents and law enforcement. Today, it's just media. But as to where he was during those raids is still unclear. A raid carried out by dozens of Homeland Security agents at Sean Diddy Combs' home in Homeby Hills Monday, raising questions. It's safe to say not a lot of people know what's going on, and I'll bet he doesn't really know what's going on either. His mansion at the center of a federal sex trafficking investigation led out by the HSI Southern District of New York, according to law enforcement. A similar scene at his home in Florida. HSI agents in Miami and Los Angeles seen assisting the search, seizing a number of electronics, according to law enforcement. Agents seen bringing boxes out of his L.A. home, even looking through cushions in the outdoor pool furniture. And it was there where his two sons were detained for a period of time, but not arrested. Photos obtained by ABC News capturing Diddy's Love Air Jet in Antigua. No information about who, if anyone, was on the plane. I would say, like, to be careful with what we're hearing, because obviously people are just, like, piling on to this. They see opportunities for attention. They see opportunities for money. This comes as Diddy faces legal trouble. Several women have filed civil lawsuits against Combs, a producer also filing a federal lawsuit against him last month. In response, Diddy says he did not do the awful things being alleged. And Colleen, in a statement just released from Combs' attorney, says there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. The statement goes on to say this is nothing more than a witch hunt and that Mr. Combs is innocent and will fight to clear his name. You can read the full statement on ABC7.com.